Hello everyone, today we are going to install Apache Tomcat and I'll be showing you how to install it, fine. But before installing it, I need to download Apache Tomcat from its website. So let's start with Google. First I'm going to Google, fine. And then finding Apache Tomcat. Fine, it will show you the links over here. Let's go to welcome page and see what's information available. You can see that it's available versions are 9, 8, 7, 6 and whatever you like it, fine. Uh, right now Apache Tomcat 9 is available, fine. Let's install the newest version. If you wish, you can also download the version for 8, 7 or 6, fine. Uh, let's try for Apache Tomcat 9 and then I'm going for tar.gz, fine. You can also download zip file if you require, but for Linux it's okay if I can download it tar.cz. Uh, save it. It says approximately, so okay, I already downloaded it. Fine, let's start with that thing. Uh, it's getting downloaded, doesn't matter. It will take a bunch of few seconds. Hmm. Okay, so let me tell you one thing that uh, this tar.gz file contains the entire so uh, extract uh, some versions or source of uh, information. You do not need to install it. Just like in uh, uh, what we call is Windows. In Windows, what we do is click on binary execution file that is installer file, and then go for next, next, next buttons, and that's it. Fine. But in Linux, it's quite easier than that uh, just you need to do is uh, just extract the versions wherever you require and then you go fine uh, let's see where it's getting downloaded uh, you can see over here uh, it's getting downloaded over here and okay it's done I just forgot that I already downloaded it once it was done fine anyways let's start with a new one you can go over here uh, go to extract button fine how did i came over here is just by double clicking it over here then extract button and then after i will just okay so then after i will go to computer and then opt because i install everything over here so i will prefer opt folder itself because i do not need to search here and there every time I just go around fine um then after I'm going to extract this folder over here and open it itself. It says that you can see how quickly it was uh, done. Uh, in extraction was successful. Let's see if it's done. Okay, so here you see that it's successful. Now, uh, instead of typing every time this big name, I'm just going to rename it to Tomcat. Fine. Uh, why so? Because it's very easier for me every time if I just press on commands so it's very easy okay so the second step is extracting uh, the third step will be setting class path variables and everything in that way fine for that let me type it for you people okay let's see. Um, okay fine. Uh, you can pause it for some time and view it with a cool and calm mind so these are the path that actually I need to set it. How it came over here is just a secondary matter. Let me explain it to you. Uh, first you need Catalina Home. Uh, you can see over here the Catalina Home is... Uh, this is what my Catalina Home is. Fine. OPT Tomcat. So this is my Catalina Home. The another one is setting class path why set class path is because you need these jar files to compile somewhere some uh, and work around fine sublet api will actually introduce you with uh, lots of sublets fine so to compile with sublet api you need to uh, set the class path and also jsp api is for tld files that you actually install so to compile with jsp or uh, with compile with uh, compile for TLD files and if everything like that if you are owning your taglib libraries and everything like that you need to set these things also there are lots of libraries available over here uh, 
find these are the libraries that you can actually use it for your purpose so for example you are working with genie or utils or scanner class or something like that jdbc whatever your requirement is you can just set it in the class path itself with dot jar extension and do, do remember that you have to put a semicolon uh, sorry not semicolon but a colon between two uh, junctions over here fine and the another thing is to set a path variable till the bin fine why required till bin because you can see over here is in bin file uh, you okay so i was telling you that uh, in this file it has uh, startup.sh you can see over here and also startup.bat actually this uh, compilation it works in both windows and also in uh, what we call as linux fine it, i think it might also support all the other linux versions also fine uh, what we next do is uh, <coughs> uh, right click over here fine and start open terminal fine and then type some commands why type commands let, I will let you know in some time 777 for startup dot sh uh, set set and tab it's automatically typing it catalina dot sh and the final version we have shutdown dot sh fine this is the things that i actually wanted to show it to you people uh, let me once again tell you these files are helpful for running your apache tomcat fine so we need to give the full permission to over it uh, to it okay so the next step is that uh, i need to set some class path also uh, some path also and some variables such as catalina home in environment variables so how we are going to do is sudo gedit uh, etc environment variables i have already done it for you people i'll just let you know how i did it fine so sudo command for gedit is important because otherwise it won't allow you to um, edit this file fine you can see over here the path variable and with colon separated colon is important over here i have added the bin folder over here fine by adding bin folder now i can uh, call startup.sh from anywhere in the terminal it will start my tomcat fine so i just started uh, uh, i just added the path variable over here fine do not forget to put colon and also make sure that you do not list it in this manner fine it should be in this manner itself fine uh, the another thing is that catalina home fine uh, the Catalina home as I said is opt and tomcat how I got it is over here is opt tomcat this was my Catalina home pressing ctrl l ctrl c and then uh, let's come okay and over here I just pressed ctrl v same way class path why class path because some of the things are required as installation fine um, Sowlet API and JSP API as we actually discussed somewhere in our video so okay so I just set these things over here fine closing this window fine uh, actually I just uh, re-logged in the entire thing so that I do not have to pause my video and merge my video so I completely did my environment stuff before I just started my uh, video fine so now the step is for re-logging in and doing all the stuffs fine then after what you need to do is let's check it if it's working or not but okay so we start up dot sh so you can see over here it's uh, giving a message that tomcat has been started let's see if it's working or not localhost colon 8080 fine you can see over here tomcat is now working 
the second most thing is manager app let's configure this also if you type anything over here it is not going to let you sign in fine so let's add the user for tomcat manager i'm pressing it can cancel after pressing it cancel it gives me actually one example fine i'm copying this example from roll to manager gui and going to uh, catalina home fine let me once again go so that you can see it uh, computer opt tomcat this is my catalina home going to conf tomcat users.xml right clicking it gedit and then it actually opens some files for me people fine um, going downstairs at the end before or you can also add over here oops let's come okay so i'm going to add at the end fine pressing it control v just make sure it doesn't come in the comment sections fine uh, you can now set the password that you like fine i'm giving tomcat tomcat also uh, also we can go back go to host manager you can see it's not going to work admin admin fine because we haven't added host manager also pressing it cancel button after pressing control button cancel button uh, i'm going to copy this example as and when it's given mm, after specifying my tomcat gui i'm going to press control v admin gui i'm going to give admin admin thing. save it let's see if anything is left you can if you do not wish this comments to be the part of this thing or it gets irritated you can delete these things also fine make sure you do not delete the necessary things say for example in this way fine because it's a very crucial xml file <clears throat> i'm going to delete my comment lines over here so that the code looks pretty good fine okay so the next thing that okay so here you can see that entire things has been added in my xml file I'm going to save this thing closing this window also <sighs> okay and the next thing right so now i'm going to restart my tomcat i'm going to restart my tomcat shut down and start up dot sh enter you can now see if it's working or not let's try it manager app tomcat tomcat okay so here you see that entire things are now working also let's check for admin app host manager admin admin so here you can see the entire commands will be acceptable from here also fine the thing last thing that i would like to share with you all people is by configuring uh, the web.xml let's see how we can do it fine where it's located let me tell you once again in opt tomcat conf file in conf file it's web.xml open with gedit and then control f i'm telling it listings fine um, once again searching from listings 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 okay so you can see the eighth seventh listing here it says false i'm turning it to true why i'm doing this thing say for example you are in some folder then it will show you resource not found message but by turning this listings true it might show you the files present over there rather than resource not found message fine so it's quite handy to work around this is also not recommended step it depends on your server on how you manage the entire things fine so closing it also after doing these changes i recommend it to you people that shut down the server and again start your server fine so the entire changes will take effect.
okay so i don't think i have missed any of the points over here but let me revise the entire thing first download the zip from the file then after extract the zip for file i mean extract the zip file to wherever location you like i just choose slash opt that is root opt then after set the class path in etc and environment variable i just forgot to mention one more thing over here mm, step four is to give permission to uh, catalina dot sh comma startup dot sh comma uh, set class path dot sh comma what's the last step or shutdown dot sh fine just to give the permission with ch mode fine this was the command that actually we did it just to write it down over here fine you do not need to press comma over here it was just a message that i can interact with fine after doing this thing you can also set the class path in these following locations fine and then re-log in the system or you can also log out and log in the system to take this environment variable in a great effective manner fine after that you just click uh sorry set the tomcat users as we have shown it to you and also listings equal to true in web.xml that's it that's it for now so with these seven steps you have actually installed your tomcat fine it's very easy from now onwards thank you for watching this video and do subscribe my channel we can meet in near time with new installations thank you very much